Modern Paralympians in training at Stoke Mandeville Stadium, members of a global sports movement which started here at a makeshift wartime hospital, thanks to the energy and vision of one man. Parker, come here. Ludwig Gutmann was a Jewish refugee who fled Nazi Germany and helped found the Spinal Injuries Unit here. For more than 30 years, he bullied, cajoled and inspired his paralyzed patients, many ex-servicemen, using sport to transform their lives. We started with these soldiers in the war with simple games first, darts playing in the ward, uh, and we had a, a, a billiard and a snooker, and then we start skittles, and then I saw, of course, uh, how these men react, not only physically, but psychologically. On the, very day On the opening day of the London Olympics uh, July, in 1948, he organised the first Stoke Mandeville Games. By the 1960s, disabled sports had been accepted into the Olympic movement as the Paralympics. <laughs> Philip Lewis played table tennis as a Paralympian. He was treated by Ludwig Gutmann, known to his patients as Popper. He was quite a severe man with his staff and with the uh, paraplegics. But behind it all, there was that sort of tremendous kindness. He made you realize that he wanted to do the best for you, but you got to pull your weight. You haven't got much hope. No. Now look here, cut that out, will you? Here at Stoke Mandeville, they've treated many of Britain's Paralympians and thousands of others who in the days before Ludwig Gutmann would have been written off as incurable, hidden away and left to die. The Spinal Injuries Unit here is one part of Ludwig Gutmann's legacy. Another part is a commitment to helping disabled people fulfil their potential, whether as athletes, as individuals, or as members of society. One of Britain's greatest modern Paralympians says disabled people owe Ludwig Gutmann a huge debt. He believes that disabled people, you know, should be living normal lives. Um, and, and it was sort of his persistence, I think, that, um, you know, at a time when lots of people probably thought he was slightly mad for thinking that disabled people could contribute, he just stood up to everyone. Sir Ludwig Gutmann's now commemorated by a new statue at Stoke Mandeville, a man with a passionate belief in the power of sport to restore not just disabled people's fitness, but their self-esteem and their dignity as well. Nick Hyam, BBC News, Stoke Mandeville.